Prone to vandalism and normal wear and tear, the city of Lubbock is set to make old facilities new again at some city parks. Meanwhile, it's also replacing other city assets at a cost of $12 million. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks is here with details. Case? Well, Abner, the city council last week approved the contracts and purchases for some park restrooms and new buses. Both separate items, but both using separate federal and state funds. We hear about these bathrooms, and the one at Higginbotham is in my district, and I've heard a lot about it. Uh, you wouldn't want to go there. It's put it like that. That Higginbotham Park restroom is one of five set to be replaced with new concrete facilities. More than half a million dollars was allocated for it, Clapp, McKinsey, Otslan, and Maxi Parks. So I'm really excited that we have started this process and are moving forward because our citizens deserve uh, that we do this. That late December purchase uses pandemic stimulus funds and another 232000 was awarded in early January to renovate seven more facilities at Buddy Holly, Clapp, Hodges, McKenzie, May Simmons, McAllister and McCullough Parks. Each one of them really has a slightly different scope of work that goes, goes to that. City documents show the restrooms will have tamper resistant amenities to cut down on vandalism and increase their lifespan and other changes to make them safe, comfortable and long lasting facilities. We are seeking your permission to spend $12 million and $35,000 to purchase 15 new buses. Now, if citizens need city bus to get to those parks, they could be riding next year in a new bus. No part of that $12 million comes from the city's pockets. The Federal Transit Administration awarded city bus a grant for the hybrid buses, part of its low or no emissions program. Matched with tech stop funds, the 15 buses could be on Hub City streets next year, replacing older ones. They will be scheduled for production in October this year, and each bus takes two weeks to produce, and then they will be delivered. So hopefully by the end of this year, beginning of 24, we can put, begin putting these into service. That contract for the restroom renovations is set for six months. It can be extended for an additional six months if needed. City leaders say if more funds are left over or if they can be budgeted next year, more parks could get similar improvements. Abner. Thank you, Case.